it's a white space for me. That has been a childhood dream. Basically, it's from watching cartoons just like any other child. Seen another new world, different from what we have here. Because I like traveling, so I like that part of adventure and being able to visit another world apart from now. Earth. I am a space enthusiast. I'm also the president and founder of Mass Society Kenya. I am an IT technician by profession and an analog astronaut. So in 2019, I applied to the Space for Humanity Pro uh, Citizen Astronaut Program. And in 2020, the letter came indicating that I've been selected for round two, which means now in round two, we have to do the training and the interview. And after that, then that's when we go to space. But then COVID came and disrupted everything. So I'm still waiting for their response to date. The company has partnered with other companies like Virgin Galactic for Richard Branson and the Blue Origin for Jeff Bezos. So these are the companies that, you know, we are to use their the rockets to go to space. So I used to take my dad's newspapers once it was done and just peruse through. And then one time I saw some news the media was sharing. It was a story about the education system in Kenya. They said that there's no university in Kenya offering Aerospace engineering. Oh, which I knew aerospace is something that I needed to do if I wanted to become an astronaut. I looked at myself and asked myself, how do I convince my parents to take me abroad? Yet, Aerospace engineering is something new, maybe when they have never heard of it. So how do I convince them that I wanted to go to study abroad? And I couldn't find any reason. So that killed my dream. I decided to do IT. And after my studies, I opened my own business. Mass Society Kenya is a non-profit organization. We advocate for human presence on Mass. Mass is the closest to us, and the planet that we have seen that resembles Earth. So that's why we want to go to Mars, see if we can make life habitable, and then as humanity, we can have a backup for Earth in case Earth suffers a major catastrophe that we are unable to undo. Then at least we can have a backup, which is mass as we wait for Earth to heal. We are standing on my piece of land where I plan to build an analog habitat. We call them analog habitats because they simulate the environment of the place you want to go, for example, the moon or Mars. I've always had this dream of, you know, going to Mars and, but really not just myself, but empowering the community, especially the kids.
you know, as Kenyans or Africans, we tend to forget that humans landed on the moon, maybe because of our cultural differences or I don't know what, but as a growing up, all these interactions in the community, I had forgotten that. But then watching NASA land a rover on Mars, I remember I had to watch that clip three times just to get the grips of what they were doing and believe that that project is possible. And that's when my childhood dream was awakened. I realized that I need to do more with my life. Then I purpose that I should go to Mars and use my life to even empower others because I didn't want to go alone. I want Kenyans to go with me. It's all about trying to make everyone else you know, believe in my story. I know that I'm not mad. This thing is possible. So you just need the perfect technology. Let's get there. Let's see what we can do with that planet and have that backup for Earth. There are several activities that one must undertake because it's not just about waking up and getting into that rocket and going to, into space. You must be trained, you must be ready. Very nice. You're very comfortable. That was good. We want to roll to the deep end now. You also need to be a good swimmer. There's a different atmospheric pressure that one experience as a deep sea diver, which are similar when you're going to space. These are my model of the solar system, which I used to just part of my education to the community. Have the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, my home, Jupiter, Saturn, and then Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. And they're just models. I don't even remember when this photo was taken, but when I looked at it and see the boy is still lost in his own world, it reminded me that oh, my dreams are still valid. Talking about going to Mars, um, with the current technology, we are seeing that it's a one-way trip. So what happens if that rocket does not launch? Again, we die, we don't get to come back home. So yes, you can call it a suicide or a fear, like my mother used to say. Because it was hard for her to really imagine that I'm doing this. Good. Okay. Mm. No. Max Vector. Funza kuasha. So apa muisha kuna? Kuna kaswitch. Kuna kaswitch ya. Unai turn clockwise. Oh, just the red dot. 
itakuja katikati yeah endelea kutana tan unaiona red dot eh no naiona iko mwisho iko mwisho sawa sawa kama unaweza align sasa na antares uh, si unaiona eh yeah, basi jiko ni sioni Uh, in the, in the in a blink. Actually, the shape is coming out very. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Something that I like advocating on is taking our culture with us. Maybe we shall have a friend matatu. <laughs> no, put the yellow stripe as usual. <laughs> And the Lord music. <laughs> Everything that makes us Kenyans, that's what I like to see on mass. And that's why when you can see my space suit had that Maasai design on it, because I was trying to embrace this culture. Mas has some critters and they named one critter Kipini. And Kipini is Swahili, maybe you can say it's of a safety pin. It's also a name for a, a community, those some indigenous community in Tetataveta. So seems that already we have something on Mars. I also said we have a Kenyan on Mars. <laughs>